I'm Caroline and I'll be doing computer science after I finish the foundation year. My name is Mukta Andu and I'm currently studying the engineering foundation year and hopefully I'll be, proceed to be studying the electrical electronic engineering degree. So the engineering foundation year is a program for underrepresented students that don't meet the UCL requirements to start the course. So the engineering foundation year is a one year course quite intensive course that allows you to bridge the gap of knowledge that you didn't have from secondary school to university and gain some fundamentals that you didn't have from before such as like the maths and physics and also learn the type of engineering that you can apply into the real world. Hopefully once you pass that course you can start studying the engineering degree at UCL. Beyond the UCL support and events and societies that is really famous for, what really made me choose UCL was it was an inclusive program. It's really rare to find top universities to accept students that come from an unconventional pathway. I did a BTEC in electrical and electronic engineering, but I still had some missing knowledge with the maths and physics skills. So the engineering foundation it allowed me to close those gaps. So I feel like as to where I'm almost finishing this year, I feel like I've achieved those goals and quite happy with that. The Engineering Foundation here has a lot of project-based learning and some are collaborative with like a lot of groups and some are individual. So there's a lot of mix that we gain. So being able to do projects on my own, which sometimes I find very tasking and be able to communicate with other team members has really helped a lot because it just gives me a diverse range of what could be happening in the real world when I try to apply these skills. I think it's an excellent way of learning because you are able to connect theory with real solutions. So you are able to gain a lot of more skills than if you just were in lectures. You also get the opportunity to work with other people and all the skills that you gain is not just for the degree that you're going to do, but also for personal development. My favourite project that I enjoyed was the environmental centre. It was about making a centre that detects light when you add a lot of light or you add not a lot of light onto it. And the reason why I liked it so much because it relates to what I'm actually going to be studying later, hopefully to be studying later, which in the electrical and electronic engineering course. So being able to apply those skills really helped a lot. And being able to achieve it as well, knowing that, okay, I'm actually learning something from before has really made it joyful to do. My favorite project was actually building a robotic arm. So we had to assemble it, integrate some sensors, and also program to do the object tracking and manipulation of the arm. It was a very exciting experience because we had to add different elements to make it work. So we use maths to do the inverse kinematics, we use electronics, we programmed. So it was like an all-in-one project, so it was a really fun one. So meeting like people in my class who are taking different courses after this year, it gave me like a broad understanding of what engineering really is. To be fair, I was quite close for me thinking engineering was just the main like mechanical and electrical and civil, but being able to see like computer science there, robotics, you know, just gave me an understanding, okay, this is so much more. And then even me delving in like some of the stuff they are doing, I, I could be doing as well next year. So like a lot of coding and etc. It's been a very interesting experience. Learning from everyone is very inspiring and also brought their perspective on how the engineering field works because you get a little bit of everyone. So it's good for you to understand how all the fields connect into one another. We have a lot of support. We have extra maths lessons. We have extra exercises. But something that is really important is that UCL really cares about your mental health and your well-being. So we do have a lot of support and people to talk if we have any challenges and or if you have any disabilities. So I think it's very important that they give us all the necessary tools to succeed here. So we had a lot of drop-in sessions and a lot of one-to-ones for like extra help if we needed for some things that we didn't understand. I feel like the lecturers are very quick with responding when we needed help with certain like a task they've given us on assignment. They're able to respond to us quite quickly. After most of the projects that we did, because they were formative, we had a lot of 
constructive feedback, which helped me to improve over the course. So when I wanted to talk about things I didn't understand in the class, my lecturers were happily able to like do quick one-to-one -one meetings or create office hours, especially towards like exam periods, so which helped me a lot and gave me confidence. Anyone that is applying for the foundation year, I'll suggest them to work hard outside the classroom because your efforts really matter in this program. Also, don't be afraid to ask questions and use all the resources that they offer you because they'll help you grow both academically and personally. And most important, don't let your doubts stop you from applying in the first place. So what I would tell someone who wants to be, who wants to look into applying for the foundation year would be to have an open mind and to work really hard. But always keep a positive energy because you're going to have up and down when you're studying engineering. But if you're able to just keep working hard, staying focused and actually reach out for help, you'll have a good time, a tough time, but a very good time.